Hey, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques. And today we're gonna talk about how to take in the lined buttoned sleeve of a crepe wedding gown. Now, with this type of wedding gown, there are a few challenges that I will address. Number one, it's lined, so there's the accessibility issue. Two, it's buttoned, which means it could become too time consuming and expensive if you were to take it completely apart. And three, uh, just the nature of crepe fabric. Uh, you have to sew it very neatly. Every bump and flaw shows. So we wanna work on as few seams as possible. So first I'm showing you how to gain access to the inner workings of this sleeve. There you can see the button tape there, the button loop taping. And that is where we're going to start our alteration. This is the cuff of the sleeve. And we're going to work on the side of the button loop taping. We're not going to work on the button side of the sleeve. So I have opened up a fresh razor and I've kind of zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm gently breaking this up one stitch at a time. I want to open the seam of this cuff and we're going to very carefully remove this button loop tape and set it to the side to be put back in after our adjustment. This is considered a pretty advanced alteration, but with a little bit of sewing experience, if you follow this step by step, you should be just fine. So don't be afraid. This sleeve does not need to be taken in very much, only about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to lay this button loop tape a quarter of an inch in from that original crease from the original seam. I do like to leave those seams and not press them out while I'm sewing because they make for a great wayfaring as we adjust the size of the garment. So here I am, I'm just going to sew that tape down to the crepe fabric. Let me adjust this camera angle. Ooh. Oh, I just broke my favorite leaf of my favorite plant. Okay, onward and upward. So I'm sewing the button loop tape down the whole length of this cuff. And this is, again, the first segment of the alteration. After we do the cuff segment, I will show you how to bring in the sleeve the easiest, neatest way possible. I am making sure that I stretch the tape to be the length of that cuff. I am playing chicken with my bobbin thread. Oh, I won. <laughs> Time to wind the bobbin thread. I do hate this machine, love-hate relationship here. So uh, hit subscribe, because here in a few weeks, I'm going to kind of make my own bobbin winding machine. So that'll be a lot more fun. Uh, but so this is what we've done so far. We've got the button tape in. Now I'm going to lay the right sides of the lining and the crepe together. And I'm just going to bump this in again, a quarter of an inch from the original seam. What I'm doing with my fingers and I'm showing you with this diagram is I'm pressing on both sides of the button tape so that I can feel that tape through the layers. And that's really going to guide me on where to sew. I can't see through the layers, so I have to feel for the tape. Now that the cuff segment is done, we're gonna move up and work on the sleeve. Now, as you've noticed, we did not take the cuff in on both the loop side and the button side. We only took it in on one side, which means we need to do the same thing for the arm of the sleeve. We want to take it in just a quarter of an inch on one side of that seam, not the other. If we were to do a quarter of an inch for uh, both parts of that seam allowance, that would give us a total of taking the arm of the sleeve in a half an inch, and then it would not align correctly with the cuff. So we are going to offset the seam, and I'll show you this diagram here. On one side, the original seam allowance plus one quarter of an inch. On the other side, you're sewing right on that crease of that original seam. Make sure that the additional one quarter inch 
is from the side that feeds right into the side of the cuff that has the button loop tape, not the button side. So it'll just take a moment to make sure you're sewing the correct piece, but it is super, super critical. So don't skip that part, okay? And you're going to seam this down to the top part of the cuff, and you're gonna stop just maybe about an eighth of an inch before your intersection of all your cuff seams, and everything will lay just fine. Now, I'm gonna turn this right side out, and this is just a personal preference. I like to do a little bit of a top stitch right there on that outer corner by the button loop tape because it's going to give you a nice sharp edge and it will never be seen because when the buttons are fastened they cover that stitch now we need to close up this vent that we used to gain access to the inside of the sleeve you can either hand stitch with a blind ladder stitch or you can just put the two pieces together and sew on the crease like a top stitch and that's what i'm doing in this case it works just fine, both are industry standard. Now we're going to turn the sleeve right side out the final time and look it over, making sure that there are no puckers in our sewing. Any of the minor bumps that you see will be cleared out with steaming and pressing.